welcome to another video. So today I'm going to be planning for the week of August 7th in my Erin Condren Academic Planner. And as you can see here, I have started to put some sticky notes down to keep track of what I know I need to get written down. And then things will fill in more as the week progresses. The things I have pulled... For this spread is this sticker book by Creative Ingrid and the Happy Planner. It's a big sticker book, so the stickers are quite large, but I think I can make them work. I'm especially interested in the reds, the red florals, because I think those are going to go well with the red up here at the top. The August theme is it has this little Darth Vader motif all throughout and I find that that's really fun so this week I just wanted to embrace the red rather than ignore it some weeks I ignore it most of the weeks I'll probably ignore it but this week I want to embrace it and I pulled some washi tape these two are from I think Michael's but they're like five or six years old <laughs> as is this one and then this is a simply gilded washi tape so that's what we'll be working with and this is the first week I'm planning where I didn't put the habits in this square like I did basically the whole month of July. I still don't really know how I want to use it at all. So that this, this is an experiment, this whole situation. Notable things happening. So Monday... We finally got tickets for Oppenheimer. <laughs> oh my goodness. I was on that website looking for the IMAX nearest us, looking for tickets for like a week. And I just kept putting it off and like pushing it back and I couldn't find any. And y'all, the tickets are, it was rough. They were sold out everywhere. <laughs> so I'm glad I finally got some. I was worried that I just wouldn't, but my boyfriend really wants to see it in IMAX, so I eventually found it. And we're gonna go on Monday, it's a matinee. I really wanna get this sticker to fit. It is not at all sized for this box, but I think with a little creativity, I can get it to work because I am going oops I'm going to cut it oh goodness oh no Phew. okay oh okay. right here So options, I could put this here, right? And then like just tuck that in here and hope that it blends in. It'll probably blend in well enough. Or I could put this down and then use this as a box somewhere else. I think I'm going to do that actually, which means that I want the border to be on the outside. put that there and then this I will put here okay okay so there's the that and I want to put something here to kind of mask the fact that that does stop pretty abruptly there 
there. Now it looks deliberate. Not too bad. I like that so far. All right. Onwards. I am going to pull this I love this sticker so that I can kind of underneath it put the movie notes for Oppenheimer. So we're going to go see it in IMAX. We're going to a matinee and this is the last possible day <laughs> really that we could have gone because I start work my first week of training on Tuesday. So this matinee, I couldn't have gone to a matinee on Tuesday through Friday. And then all the like reasonable hours of the evening, like 6 p.m. were taken. They were completely sold out. And I was looking at a 10 p.m. showing. Well, Oppenheimer is a three and a half hour movie. So I wouldn't get home. The movie wouldn't even end until 1.30. And then it's like half an hour until we get like the movie theater is half an hour away from where we are. So I would get back home at like 2 a.m. And I have work every single one of the next days. So it was going to be awful if we had decided to do a Yep, words I'm thinking. If we had decided to do an evening showing. So I'm glad that we found matinee tickets that worked. I'm just gonna plop this cluster of florals down and hope that I don't have regrets. I kind of want to put another one. Like, I can use another piece here and then put the other box here maybe so let's see oh they're also these interested in fitting here. And I think I will just trim it. So for the height. And I'm just gonna hope I can cut in a straight line. Because other methods to make this more perfect, I don't want to do right now. So, as straight as I can get it, I'll be passing. And then we trim off some of that excess green because too much green and red starts to feel Christmassy. So, I will want this here. I want it to fit in the box, so gotta trim it here as well. Now, as they are often spoken of in a pair, I must say that we did see the Barbie movie last week. So, I don't know. I don't know when we saw it, but we definitely saw it. And I really liked it. I grew up with Barbies, and I wasn't excited about the Barbie movie because I thought that it was going to be targeted towards children. And when I learned that it was being marketed towards adults... I was super curious. I was like, whoa. I don't even know. I, I was just really, really intrigued, I guess is the word. And I think they did a good job. I enjoyed it. I really, really like, like pink is my favorite color. We've already mentioned that in this planet me. And the beginning scenes when they are all in Barbie land, those are so good. Everything was pink. It was very fun. I had a good time. So I'm glad we were able to go to that. 
that was also hard to schedule. Every single place was closed. <laughs> uh, not closed. Every place was over, was sold out. And then if they weren't sold out, I had to negotiate with the fact that my boyfriend's grandmother and brother were visiting. And so his whole family wanted to go see the movie, but they all had different schedules and they had different times that they were willing to be awake. And it was rough. It was rough, but we found a time and it worked out and it was, it was really fun. All right, I'm gonna put the sticker here to mark that I begin training. I think this is just for decoration, I guess. I don't know. We'll see. I want something here. And I talked about another long box sticker. And the only other ones that I found are these. This week, the week is fairly simple in the way that it is planned out, but still quite fun. Which is nice because I don't know if you've seen my volume. Yeah, my July flip through will be up by the time this goes up. My weeks in July got really. Like, I was experimenting with maximum sticker usage. So, it'll be nice to have a week where it's like a little bit of color to keep things interesting. And then that's it. Alright, so I did take a break to go pull a few random things. Some quote stickers. You might not use all of them from Tino. And then a few large red floral washi stickers that I got from Amazon, I think. So I wanted to put those there just to have them on hand. Got my brush pen. And a quarter medium mild liner. Okay, so let me put a few things in and then I'll see, that will inform me of like what else needs to happen. So, I'm gonna do Penny Monday, we're gonna go see Oppenheimer. And I'm really excited about that movie. My boyfriend and I both studied physics in college. And I feel like that explains that that's that explains it all. I am really excited to see how the movie portrays Oppenheimer as a scientist and person. So we shall see. And then additionally, there are just a couple of to-dos from my monthly goal setting and filming schedule that I know I'd like to try to get done on Monday. And those I can just put in 
with a pen. If I can find my pen. Because I will so be so busy for the rest of this week. I want to film my next plan with me and tidy the barn. My boyfriend's parents have a barn we're using as like storage. This is my cat. Her name is Sir Cat. She's adorable. She's kind of getting in the way, but we'll forgive her. Um, anyway, so we put all our stuff that we didn't immediately need after the move there as like storage. And then since then we have been kind of discovering all the things we needed and therefore digging through the barn to get, and it's kind of a mess. So my hope is to get a little bit of like, get that tidied a bit because all their boxes are everywhere and it's a mess. So on Tuesday, I have my first day of training and I'm just going to write that in. And I've got like four, um, sorry, not four, three different weeks of training, but this is the first one. And then Wednesday I have training. And then I also want to note that that is when Strange Planet on Apple TV starts streaming. And I want to take a walk. I'm trying to walk twice a week. Nothing wild, just something to get me out of the house. So I want to put that as a to-do. And then here, I'm going to mark... Strange Planet with this and Strange Planet is a show based on the cartoons, the comic strips by a cartoonist named Nathan Pyle and I really enjoy them. My boyfriend and I both really enjoy them. I tend to find them and save them and then send them to him <laughs> and it's fun. So. When I learned that they were going to be making a show, and it's like a cartoon about it, I knew I really wanted to see it. So, I'm going to put that there. And I'll add a drop shadow to give it some pizzazz. But the premise of the cartoon is basically, it's the perspective of these little, like, alien-like creatures and how they describe earth-like customs as though you've never heard of it before and i don't know how else to explain it but they're fun and i'm excited to see what the show is like And then for my training, I'm just going to write that every day because it's not, it's not routine yet. And it's actually only this week that I have this particular training and then I'm going to have a different, well, actually I have a week with nothing right now. And then I'm going to have another week with a different training schedule and like workshops. So it's a whole thing. And I'm just going to write it in, I think. I'll use that highlight for the time. All right, on the other side on Thursday, Thursday is our month anniversary. We tend to do something fun on those days. 
So I'm going to letter that in here because that's where I have the biggest space to like do something fun. red in there but I don't think I can without it being weird so I won't and then over here I guess I'll mark the training for the box Then on Friday, training again, and then I want to call my sister. And this is not school specific training. This is orientation to like the district as a whole. So it's basically, it's like a, all the new hires in the whole district across all grade levels. And it should be interesting. I'm excited. Okay. Saturdays is when I do my weekly actions and review for the Moxie Life goal setting system. And then Saturday is when I take a big walk. So I am trying really hard to walk an hour on Saturdays. And recently, I have been trying to do that with the family dog. He's a cutie. His name is Wolfric. And I like walking with him because he's a big dog, so he just kind of makes me feel like no one's going to mess with me, you know? So, yeah. I mean, I haven't had trouble. It's a pretty rural area. I just walk on this, like, trail. But still. He's a cutie and he enjoys walks. So, everybody wins. Then on Sunday, I just want to list a couple to do so I do every week. So I memory keep for the week. That's when I put my pictures and, and lay things out. And I've also started to pre plan my outfits. And <laughs> that sounds silly, but having to get ready for work in the morning is one of the most onerous and annoying things in the world. And when I'm up that early, I just tend to throw on anything and then I don't look as professional as I wish I did and so my hope is that if I can set out and plan at least my work clothes for the week ahead of time then it's one less thing I have to think about and I have been working in Notion to catalog my clothes so that I can easily see what's in my closet, what's clean, how many times have I worn it, do I need to wash it again, and then what I'm going to wear when and we'll see. It's been like one week. And I haven't gone back to work. This is a trial week. So we'll see if it's helpful enough to be worth doing. So that's everything from all my sticky notes. And the last thing to do for this particular spread is decide on last, you know, 
decoration and thing about bobs. I don't want it to break in. Washi but I don't like it. I don't like these. So I'm gonna do that. Let's take a look at my clothes. I kinda like this one. It says she believed she could, so she did, and that's one of my more favorite quotes. As far as, you know, all overused quotes go. This one says, every ending is a new beginning. That could be good there. This one says, smile, sparkle, shine, and don't like it as much. Oh, maybe... I don't like these flowers, so let me just cut those off. I'll put that there as like an encouraging start to the week in my new work schedule. I have never been a uh, I've never been in a job that had real training. It's pretty sad. My past two jobs have been at private schools and their training was basically like, this is what the schedule's like. This is the subject you have to teach. Pat, pat, go figure out how to do that. And that's really hard. <laughs> so I am excited to be able to have like any kind of structure. So, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how I feel about that as the year progresses. I like that. And then I have these. And I could cut them down and like sprinkle them. This one's really big. It's too big. These are little mushrooms. I thought they were really cute. I want to put these on this one because that's when Strange Planet comes out. And I feel like the mushrooms, they fit the vibe. So. hear him? That's Wolfric. Anytime someone's outside working, he just yells. Is it finished? I have been going through a washi renaissance. I went a long time without even really using it, but then I downsized a lot and I made it really easy to access and I've been having a lot of fun with it. So I really want to get some into this spread. Just a little.
Okay, and so we're still going. Okay, I have no battery, which is a bummer. I just wanted to check for small itty bitty pieces. I could bring it like this. And this. It's a weird kind of sticker. I wonder what its intended use is. says the secret to having everything is believing you already do. And mostly I like the colors. And then I shall put this nowhere. Put that back in the book. But that's me. I felt like this space was a little too sparse. Alright, so that's not even the end of this plan of need. That's the end of this part. Next, I've got to set up this, but I have to plug in my phone or we won't make it. All right, so this is where I was putting my running to-do list for a while, and then I was putting just my memory keeping like pictures, and I still want to do that. But as you can see, I've set this up a little differently. I got this free printable from the Passion Planner website. They have a free weekly printable and I printed it in the small and then trimmed it way down just so I had the hours. I am not usually an hourly planner, but because I'm not, I don't know how to wrap my head around my new schedule quite yet. There. There's a lot that's different, and I have a longer commute than I ever have had. My last commute was seven minutes. My current commute is going to be closer to an hour, and so I'm just not sure what my time is going to be like, and I wanted to have something where I could really see at a glance the whole week what does my life look like. So that's what this is for, and we're going to set it up together. Basically, it's a lot of the same information, but in a different form, and... That's just kind of what I need to do right now to figure out what's going on. So I'm going to put some stuff in. I did pencil out this like general weekly routine for when I start classes. So we'll see. But that's a little different even from what is happening next week. So the first thing I'm going to do is mark in when I'm in training. I'm going to do that in this red color. Training is Tuesday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m.
Okay, my marker, I was gonna fill out the whole space, but as you can see, my marker is dying. So, I'm just gonna write in training across this band that I've made. This spread is definitely not going to be as pretty, but that's okay. So I know I have training, and then I have my commute. So like I said, my commute took an hour, so I want to make sure that I have that highlighted in. Because even though I train, like my, my workshop's only until 4, I still have to get home. And that's not an insignificant amount of time. So that's my commute. Monday, we are going to see Oppenheimer. And... I think I'm gonna part... Ugh, this is hard. <laughs> I think I will mark it with a different highlighter, I guess. Um, mm -mm. This one. So... The movie is at 10. And I said it was like three and a half hours. So that's the movie. But it's going to take us time to get there and like get going. So, really, kind of from like 9 to 2 30, I am occupied this movie and I'm going to color in just the chunk where the movie's like physically happening. And this part I probably won't include in every plan with me. I don't know how long I'm going to do this, but we'll see. Basically until I feel like I know what's happening. This is Oppenheimer. And since that purple's a little dark, I'm using this white ink dry jelly roll. I might have to go over it again, but I never really know until it has dried a little. Oh, snap! I can use this for commute, even to the movie. Gray's become my driving color. If if I think I'm driving during that time, it's going to be in gray. Let's see. I want to mark my morning routine. I'm trying to wake up at 5 a.m. That is earlier than I have ever woken up regularly in my whole life. And that is mostly because I have to. <laughs> if I want to be for work by 6.30, 6.45. But still have enough time to like wake up, journal, check my planners, wake up. I, I just gotta, so we'll see. But I don't want to use the today's focus box. So that's where I'll put in just a little bit of washi tape. Add some pizzazz. Oh, I didn't go all the way. Then I pulled up paper. Alright, let's do this instead. So I'm just going to put a thin strip of yellow so that I know my morning stuff lasts actually until about 6.30, but I really wanted to use that strip of washi tape, so it's fine. And I think I'm going to use it for all routines, so morning and then I need to start going to bed at 9. 
if I want to have enough time to do all the things I usually do before bed and still be like unconscious by about 10 o'clock so that I get about seven hours of sleep. I don't perish. So this is time that I'm blocking for just routine stuff. So up here we've got morning routine. And then down here we have evening routine. My evening routine is pretty set in stone. The start time is absolutely not, but like I do the same stuff all the time. The morning one is a little more in the works, where there are things that I'd like to do more regularly than I have historically. But really, it's about getting those times down. Okay, I'm just gonna like leave it there for now. It's kind of, it's so ugly. <laughs> I don't like this. I don't know the colors I picked. They don't make any sense, but I just needed to get a few like bare bones down to go into the next week. I kind of want to like throw a sticker on there. Somewhere, I just have to pick. The right one because I am going to come back in and actually put pictures in and stuff for my memory keeping kind of just around I don't really know how yet but I definitely am going to do something and I'm really wondering if this long sticker will fit would fit just about perfect. Okay, I have to decide. I'm gonna put it on this corner. And then here, I'm going to put something else. This sticker that I took off from the weekly, I'll throw right here. It's the yellow. This would have been a perfect spread without the yellow. I don't know why I thought yellow was the color. It's... What you gonna do? It's something here. even do a quote this last sticker why not cool and so then as it equals you to the week and when I'm not actually filming I'll think a bit more about how I want to time block a few things in general and then at the end of the week, I'll come in, I'll journal a little here, add a few pictures. And I think, I think it's going to work. So that's the week. Like, I don't know what to call that page, but it's there. And then this is the more generic brainstorm outline weekly overview. All right, if you have made it this far, thank you so, so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Bye.